But Consecrated, those were some weak ass vaults. Expecting full Mythic plus a 20 boxes next week on all characters. Bro. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? Hope you're all having an amazing morning. So, of course, it's Wednesday. And Wednesday means vault openings. Let's see. So, we're going to start off with the mage here. This mage, I don't remember what it Like, if he... Well, he did Mythic Raid and one in plus vault, right? So, he this guy can pick a splinter or a socket if needed. But pair of boots from Nilfarian would be ideal. So this is kind of interesting. To be honest. So like I think if I'm ever gonna do a hike and plus a pushing in the future or whatever, I would want to play this beacon for like Brackenhide or something like that especially on Frost Mage for like uh, spark damage or something like that and I will never be prioritized to get beacon on any raid on Mage because it will only be for like high key things so, like the beacon is going to be a very very hard trinket to obtain for me uh, and looking at the other items uh, currently I have a four, I have two 441 chests on Mythic that can be upgraded to 447, 1015. But this chest right here would only be six item levels now. But as soon as the new patch comes out, um, two weeks, I would be able to get that anyway. So this would just speed up six item levels on chest two weeks ahead of time. So it does make sense for me to pick this chest. Um, I have crafted belt, socket. Could pick socket, but looking at it, I could apply it to helmet. But I believe that I'm gonna craft a. Hmm. I think ring is kind of nice. Do I have any splinters? I can craft two items this week, right? And I also have a socket already here. So. I think it's an easy beacon choice for me. Just for like in plus purposes. I think that's good. And now we got my old mage. As you guys know, I have five mages. For for progress rate purposes. You play several characters of the same. To increase the chance of you getting loot on at least one of them. And then whatever character gets the most loot in heroic rates. Leading up to mythic progression. That will be your main. So that's why we're maintaining more of the same characters. I'm not been, I haven't been doing too much work on these. I usually just do a, a weekly M plus 20 on it, on all of them. Uh, but I'm going to start. I didn't do it this week because of limited time, but like the great push tournament coming up. Um, I've been, and also because of Midsummer, so I was away for a couple days. I haven't been able to do this on all characters, but I'm going to start doing LFR viewer rates. Um, where we're going to be doing uh, at least five bosses quick. So the goal of the LFRs is to build five bosses immediately, really fast, as fast as possible. Then, when we're done with the five bosses, you just have to do one weekly key on that character. That will give you free vault options. So in case you get a bad vault, you can always take six tokens so that you can buy a socket or a uh, splinter for those, right? So that's something that I'll start doing with the viewers for those who are in a similar position that don't want to spend like crazy amounts of time and they're all doing like a lot of weeklies, heroic rates, things like that. And they just puck and they just wipe it. You know, it takes so much time and can be annoying to do, right? So LFR with the viewers is just so efficient because everyone that joins is like overgearing everything and it just, it literally takes like half an hour and you're done with like five bosses. Crazy. See what we get here so we got a chest and uh it's not bad at all listen that's a catalyst right there that is a catalyst take that one so even though we only have one bolt option we ended up with a 447 chest which is an item slot that i can uh 
catalyst a chest into the evoker what does he need a weapon would be nice actually no i need the legendary weapon eventually anyway I mean, socket ring is massive. So like the the these shoulders are of course best in slot. Um, but I have four forty seven already, and I will eventually kill Echo and Novarian on this character, so I'll be able to get these regardless. This ring is like saves me socket, saves me a craft. I mean, this ring is really good. Uh, this is an easy pick for me there, I would say. Okay, this hunter also only did one dungeon, no other raid. So let's see what we get here. <clears throat> okay, so he got a weapon. But he does currently not have an offhand. But... Uh... I think uh, I will just pick the weapon. Unfortunately, I didn't get a staff, but it's fine. Just need to craft an offhand or something, and then I can use it. Okay, so. Actually, Sedge. I mean, the ring is really good, though. To be fair. The ring is also really good. I mean, the other alternative is like two uh, aspect tokens. This is kind of useless as well. I will just take this ring. I mean, eventually I can just socket it or something, but like... Also kind of useless. I don't know. <laughs> okay, this this vault sucked. This was this guy normally rates mythic, but <laughs> scribe took my spot this week. Okay, let's see him. Quid versus leech. That's a ring for cat Oliver. Hey. Um, <laughs> so Let's look at this s smart way. Hmm. I think I'm taking a socket here. For my new crafted item that I'm gonna do. This guy can craft two items as well this week. So question it was what we should craft. Looking at my gear right now, I'm thinking that Elden Braces would be nice. And then if I craft a socket, I can actually 
apply a socket to both the new build and the bracers. I mean, hey, yeah, oh, 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 hey, yeah. I wanted this badly. That's a mythic chroma. Holy fuck. Get fucked, man. Got it.